aqui na quinta-feira, mas hoje está lotado e vamos fazer. Tá bom. Ó, vamos fazer uma ola, vou puxar uma ola aqui, vamos lá. Uma ola que vai se chamar Jenna, tá? Ó, ó. Vou começar a ola aqui, tá? Um, dois, três. Jenna! Enquanto o Ortega e Gwendolyn Christie. That's awesome, that's awesome. We're so happy to have you here. Could I sit over here, please? Welcome. Welcome to Brazil. Right. This is Brazil. Yes. That's amazing. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Can you hear us? A, a little bit. A little bit, I yeah? I can hear you a little bit. Hello, everybody! Gente, eu tô arrepiada, real. Nossa, que que é isso? Vocês ouviram, então? Ouviram? Olha aí, ó. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Very excited thank to be here. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> I mean, we had the MCU here. I mean, Paul Rudd was here. This is the loudest that we ever got here. Yes. This is amazing. And this is crazy. And we're very nervous because we're all huge fans. We love the show. So we're thank very you. happy to have you here. And, and how do you like Brazil so far? What do you guys? It's beautiful and wonderful. Everyone is so sweet. Visually, it's stunning. The weather, everything. It's, it's actually my first time, but it's been really wonderful so far. All right. And it's, and it's been crazy because uh, the series has been released for like 10 days or, or something. It's, it's amazing because we see a lot of cosplays of Wednesdays here. Here and everybody's like, is is got really into it. It's, it's a sensation. Did you believe? Did you uh, think before that that was going to be this kind of sensation with Wednesday? I think um, the knowledge of the kind of people that we were. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to take care of. of yeah. The knowledge of the kind of people we're going to be working with, with Tim Burton, whose work means so much to so many people and our brilliant writers Alan Miles and I knew of the incredible talent of Jenna Ortega but I <laughs> yeah let's hear it for Jenna oh, Ortega yes. but You're this evil. is beyond anything I could possibly have imagined and thank you for your love Jenna, your name has a huge power here. We, uh, when we say Jenna Ortega, this happens. Yes. And it's amazing because they're all huge fans and you're such a, a young girl. So how was it work? How, what was it like working with Jim Burton? It was, it was unbelievable. It, you know, I had never really considered the possibility of ever getting the chance to work with such a legend. And he is such a sweet, collaborative man. And I feel like the experience that I had with him was easily one of my favorite experiences I've ever had. I felt like my voice was heard. I felt like he valued what I had to say. We were on the same page about a lot of things, but it was a very easygoing set. And, and he trusts the people that he works with and he surrounded me by incredibly impressive, wonderful, powerful, well, powerful people like Gwendolyn that I feel like uh, he kind of set me up for a good time. Jenna, Jenna, could you come a little bit to the right, to your right? Yeah, ju just a little, an inch, an inch to your right. I'm sorry. That's great. There was, a shadow, there was a shadow in your face. Oh, yeah, there I was, find those. Yeah, there was two Wednesday, too dark. Now it's brighter. All right, that's yeah. great. 
And did you study Christina Ricci's performance in the Addams Family before? Can you hear <laughs> me? Hey, what happened? I don't know what happened. I, you guys happened, yes. Yeah. You happened, you happened. Gente, eu acho que elas não estão conseguindo ouvir a gente, mas ó, a gente daqui a pouco eu falo de Ortega e vocês gritam de novo, tá bom? Vamos Beleza, lá. Beleza, vamos segurar um pouquinho aí. Gwendolyn, of course, you 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 do the principal of this school, and for the I mean for the first like four episodes, you have to keep this straight face, and I believe that I think that maybe it's it's kind of mysterious, but still there's something dark or there's something mysterious about this character, and after the series goes on. We learn a little bit about her. What can you talk about this this role and the challenges of this role? I really love Principal Larissa Weems, and I loved her from the second that I read her on the page. Um, I love that there was this woman that is so used to being in second place, that's so used to being um, in the shadows and working so hard and, and never being able to get into the top place. And then she is finally in charge of the school that she went to and loved. And then this whole other problem comes along in the form of Wednesday Adams that challenges everything she thought she was about. Challenges her morals, challenges her idea of power, and how she considers the world around her. Um, and it, it throws everything into flux. And this extraordinary relationship develops between this older woman and this younger woman that have a really unusual power dynamic that goes to different places. And the stuff that goes on in that office in terms of the dynamic is rage, manipulation, fear, respect, maybe even love. And that's why I love the character so much. She also is a, a well of unknown dark desires. And your chemistry is amazing between you two. What was your relationship, relationship to the Adams family before? Before the show? Yes. I, I, I mean, I have immense respect for Gwendolyn Christie's work, and I think that she's incredibly, I don't want to say underrated, because I feel like seeing her at an event like this and seeing people cheer for her, it's incredibly deserved, and I feel like she deserves the world. But I, I, um, <laughs> I remember actually being a little nervous to work with Gwendolyn because I know that she's very, very talented and gifted at what she does, but it was such a joy to work with her because not only I think do we naturally have pretty great chemistry and get along quite well, but she, um, when you work with people that, that are, are so talented, they kind of force you to be better and you kind of feel like you're trying to catch up and, and um, you know, just kind of be worthy of their, their little, not to blow smoke or do the whole thing, but she truly made my job so much easier and any time that we got to shoot together, it was one of my favorite days on set. Let me ask it for you, Gwendolyn. And of course, people know you for fantasy in series, and it seems to be that today fantasy is a new is a new trend, and it's blooming again on television. What is it like to be in fantasy? It seems so much more fun than doing like drama or doing other genres. What is it about fantasy that is so appealing for you? It's interesting, isn't it? Because I never view I love the fantasy genre, but I never view anything I do as fantasy. To me, it's all a drama. It is all reality. And essentially, it's always about universal human themes and emotions that we can all recognize. And I think sometimes for us, in the difficult times that we're living in, that to be able to look at the world and to connect to it through the veil of visual spectacular is something that can really allow our hearts to sing. And we can escape and feel so free for the length of time that we watch that show. That's what I love about it. And that often you get to portray characters that are truly extreme or more than everyday life. But the brilliance of someone like Jenna is that she brings the humanity and reality to it whilst making the most of the drama. And that's a beautiful experience. And Jenna... Uh... Yeah, amazing. What about Christina Ricci's? Uh, did you get to study her performance in The Addams Family? And what was it like working with her? Well, when I first found out that I was going to be doing the project, I went back to all Addams 
family iterations. I looked at the comics, I looked at the series, and then I watched the 90s films over and over. And that was initially the first Wednesday that I had ever been familiar with. So she holds a very special place in my heart and was somebody that I wanted to be for a very long time growing up. So I think the, the opportunity to actually work with Christina, and, and Adam's family aside, she just has an incredible resume and has, is, is such a, an immersive actress and such a, such a wonderful character actress. I, I felt like I, I was nervous to work with her as well, but getting to speak to her and, and any time that we shot together, we never once discussed Wednesday, we never once discussed the character or you know, how we were different or how we were the same. I think we just kind of respected each other's other iterations and got to know each other as humans. And she's an incredibly sweet, cool, cool lady. Yeah, 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 that's great. And the dance, you dance so well. I mean, the dancing is the best part of it. Congrats on the dancing, the, the, the dance routine. The dance. Are you talking about thing? <laughs> yeah, the, the thing. Yes. Oh, oh, the dance, the dance. Yeah, the dance. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was a that was a weird one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh, Jen Ortega, Gwendolyn Christie here. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you it. so thank much you guys, for being here. Thank you, by the way. Here. You're very, very sweet. Thank you for the love, the truth. Do thank you. Can we take a few pictures here? First here and then there, here, so everyone can see us. Just a little bit. Oh. Let's go over there, over there, over there. Último tchau, gente. E o último tchau para eles aqui, ó. O último tchau aqui. All right. Amazing, amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You guys. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Cara, que demais, que demais, que demais!